What's going on, guys? Welcome to Gintama episode 299. We had some manga creation last time. Didn't really go that well for uh, quite a few reasons. Romance in that guy's life's not going that well. Still in prison. Poor dude. Trying to catch his big break in Shonen Jump. Can only hope the bizarre artsy panty manga will make it one day. I don't know. I want him to be able to flow creatively, let his ideas out there in the world, even if he is trapped in prison himself. But, gonna get into something else now, so let's go ahead and jump in in three, two, one, play. Then after this, I believe there'll be an OVA that I'm watching. Then I'll be skipping ahead to like 320 something, I think. And yeah, that's how that's gonna go. And I, I guess I'll get to hear, I'll get to hear new openings, but I should probably avoid actually watching them. For spoilers, which is a shame. I like, I like seeing the visuals. I like seeing new characters. But I guess it's what I have to do. It's for the best. I still get to hear the songs. See if they're gonna be good. We'll see. But either way, this is the probably the last time I'll get to hear this one. I don't know, maybe when I come back to these episodes, maybe this one will still be going. Since I'm getting to 300, I thought it might change either way, but maybe not. Oh, hey, you again. You show up. Every, like, 75 episodes. Probably less. So you want one that has a little bit of history? You can tell all this stuff pretty easily. Uh, <laughs> well, they're still holding it. It's kind of a little guy. No. Why would it be? Hi, what the fuck? Yeah, we're just... We're not playing Monkey Hunter. We just... Had a fantasy characters just show up. It feels... Okay, I mean, they're, they're Amanto. They're aliens, so... Can be whatever. Tiramisu, of course, okay. It's just a fantasy RPG planet. Why not? Well, if he needs it, it's just a corpse. Get it out of the way. How do you know? Ah. I guess. It'll give you longer range. His his body will be in use even after he has died. But there you go. You got it loose. You've got the sword. But there's a curse, I guess. Okay. Yo, you've got it. <laughs> you, you couldn't get it out, but you still brought it with the rock. So you're not the chosen hero, then.
Maybe one of you can pull it out. Okay. Maybe they can do it then. You must yank the rock out of the sword. Bam! Well, there you go. There it is. But it's out, I guess. Does it still count? Can it be used? Are are you demon people? Are you are you the uh, the other side? Do you have the demon lord coming to fucking request your help as well? <laughs> You're gonna help both sides. I'm playing both sides, so I always come out on top. Why would you? Why would anybody want to help you with that? And it's still in the rock. It's what the fuck is that? Why is it? Why is it in a can of peaches? Why can't you get it out of the can? What the hell? He's definitely rotting. All right, you guys got both sides in this galactic fantasy conflict. Which side do you help, if either one? What if you combine the swords together in a symbolic gesture of peace between the two sides so they can be friends? Uh, no, okay, well, I know where this is going. Yep, there you go. Until there's nothing left. Can you not just get it right? You have to be doing this on purpose. Sure. Sure. Maybe if you stick them together, they will unlock new powers. How do you not know? Oh god. The heroes cursed. <laughs> they're being... Maybe they're moving towards kind of a middle ground. They're taking on each other's traits. What? What do you mean? I've never heard that before. How can you not know? There's no way you cannot know. You've got to be doing this shit on purpose. Who the hell is... Th what? Oh my god. How did you get back to this shape? What the hell? Uh, okay, he got revived. Okay, go get him then, if you want. Although he seems like he's changing too.
Oh no. Oh wow, that's brutal. That's Takeshi. He he was too cheap to pay the church's fee, so his party member just died. What a piece of shit. You don't get to break the people to make them the same size. Okay, back to right where we right where we were before. There's no metal. Hello. Okay. There's been some shit going on while you were gone. Adamantium? Perfect. Swords with no blades. Again, it represents peace. Maybe they'll just hit each other with the tilts. Did that actually work? This has got to be like a half episode, right? Oh, okay. So they are going to work together, but just against you. So that's a problem. My god. Okay, so now what? Probably something totally different, right? Tama. Servending machine. That'd be messed up for everybody else. I'm sure. I'm sure he will. At least he's got an umbrella. You wanted to like... Sounds like you want her to die and reincarnate as a vending machine. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Okay. What a jip. It's taunting him. This thing's haunted. It's not going to help just beating the shit out of it all the time. Tama can appreciate it for what it is. Whoa! Bunch of free products. Yeah, I don't know where I got the I don't know where I got the drinks. My god. Yeah, that's good great deal for him. Corrupt ass cop. <laughs> really bad for her though, especially since it's already closing down. Would have been a great last minute sale. 
What the fuck? Even your... How the hell is an umbrella malfunction that hard? Or uh, maybe she was faking it to come talk to the vending machine. Must be rough having feelings for all the machines that get used and abused all over the place. Whoa! Is it crying? <laughs> It's just old and bad at its job. Uh, I... Uh, sure. Rude. So they don't know who she's talking to exactly. They don't know it's the vending machine. <laughs> but he's definitely quiet. Well, he is a he he has a lot of cigarettes, so maybe he's a bit of a delinquent. Forgets the umbrella just to have an excuse. Yamazaki would be so jealous. Man, everybody's so mean to it, calling it junk. As long as she's there. Man, you got change and that's what you're going to waste it on? You'll never stop being a Madao that way. And Hijikata, you got so much already. Like, what the fuck are you back here for? What are you buying a camera for? Nice. I get it. Could be buying a camera to take pictures of somebody because of a job, or he just wants to take pictures of people. For who knows why. Maybe this actually takes place before Kagura got sick, because they were going around trying to take pictures of somebody in that episode at the beginning. He doesn't want you to leave! It has been, sure been raining a lot. What happens when it stops? What if it's dead? That was its last job. Uh, it's pretty messed up in there. Has it been a she this whole time? The whole thing is coming down.
I, I think so, it comes. There comes a time when you just gotta let it go. Maybe use its parts for something new. Well, that would just kind of be a waste of people's time and money to put that together. Ah! This is... What are you sheltering under, exactly? Shelter isn't what's over your head. It's the company that you're with. It's crying again! The, the emotional music happening. <laughs> I don't know if it fits that well. It's pretty ridiculous. It's a terrible day for rain. I don't, I don't know if anybody was like, oh no, I actually got really emotional over the vending machine. Which would be interesting. I'd like to know that. Or if you just thought it was, you know, too silly. I don't know what they were going for. Do you, do you think they thought, like, yeah, we're going to really sell this? Or, or was it supposed to be funny? Like, yeah, the emotional music over something so silly is supposed to be funny. Or somewhere in the middle. While I'm not going to cry over the vending machine, I do get it. Did a decent enough job as portraying it as a uh, kind of its own being, and at least Tama, Tama's perspective and her caring about it, I appreciated. So it's like, okay, I can get behind the vending machine story. It's just when the emotional music kicks in that I'm like, all right, you don't need all that. But yeah, uh, that was an okay episode. I kind of would have liked to see more of <laughs> of the fantasy stuff. As long as we move past the sword crafting, because that, uh, that got a little old. I'm glad that ended when it did. I don't think I would have liked to have seen a whole another half episode of just still making the same mistakes. But if we just saw more of their battle before they reached peace, that would have been, been cool. But what we got was fun. And then the second half... While a little strange, it was a nice little Tama episode, so I am not going to watch any of uh, any of this. That's it for this one. I will see you for whatever the hell I'm doing next.